now it is time for Kickstarter Corner. So, you know, Kickstarter is a big deal. We like to to back things, uh, projects that we think are very interesting it could and just need a little help to get traction, get off the ground. And so, yeah, I didn't back anything because I'm a poor college kid. But, <laughs> but Erica and Nick have been backing things so let's start with erica what did what is what is your kickstarter that you backed this this week yes so my kickstarter that i backed is doomlings the card game um again i just was scrolling through and i saw this and it was adorable so this is by uh justice meyer and this one will be ending on april 2nd so you'll still have maybe a week or a little bit less by the mm-hmm. time this podcast goes out. Um, but so this game, it, they have a cute little like video trailer is basically um, these scientists are going around and they found a planet where the, the species on the planet or everything that lives on it, it's very young. And the reason that they, they found out is that every so many years or weeks or days or whatever it is, um, the planet goes through like a, a doomsday and everything dies <laughs> and then they come back and so they called these little guys the doomlings because they're always gonna die they're all doomed <laughs> yeah they're all doomed they're all gonna die very soon and then they're just gonna come back and start over um so that's that, that's the little premise and you're it's playing as these little okay. doomlings and you're basically getting points for the types of doomlings you have and the like the traits that they have and there's different ones and they do different things like you can have flight or poison and all of them have little scores at the bottom and you're playing through the different ages before the planet mm-hmm. is destroyed again is annihilated uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah and so you're you're just trying to go through and build the best little civilization of doomed little creatures possible <laughs> before they all die again <laughs> Oh lord! Yeah, and they're adorable. So they're they all look like little like rubber bouncy balls type of thing, and then they mm. have like cute ones that look like little dinosaurs or whales, and it's it's really cute. The art style is what brought me into this, and um, just watching the little trailer, it's adorable. Looking at this, I'm getting some very big like it, it's like slime rancher vibes, <laughs> smashed mm-hmm. into exploding kittens vibes. Oh no! Uh, talking yeah. about two things. It's it's it, it's like I said. It makes me think of those two because like Slime Rancher had the whole like adorable little like it's a ball, you know. Yeah. The but they all had like ones. goofy little attributes. Like this one's on fire, and this one has cat ears and stuff like that. But then it, it right. also has the weird quirky. You know how exploding kittens had the whole like taco cat backwards, this taco cat and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's got that. Like I'm, I'm looking at his. There's this one here on the Kickstarter page where it's like they both have like really muscular arms like they're jacked you know and it's like oh points <laughs> and i'm just like yep that's a that's a thing <laughs> yeah i think it's cute and as far as the the kickstarter campaign has gone they're, they're fully funded so um april 2nd will be the end and that will be successful but it it's it's super cute. They've unlocked stretch goals. One thing that they announced recently is that they're going to have like foil editions of certain cards as like collectors items and so it's only going to be one per box which i'm Mm -hmm. like oh no i need them all but (laughs) i guess (laughs) i'll just take my one (laughs) Mm -hmm. and this one looks really great like i i like that just it's cheap to just get on the ground floor like do you want to just get the base game it's like 25 dollars. yeah that's really easy then it's like if you want to get the super ultra mega platinum gold deluxe edition that erica of course got yes i did that's only that's only like 70 dollars like it that's, is 70 dollars like but like but that's but even then that's not that bad like most of the times like to get like a cool ultra mega deluxe one like i can think of a few that i've backed it's like flipping it's a couple 200 dollars and i'm like but i want the mega edition and yeah you got the mega edition and it didn't cost you a mint <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so it at least for this this the seventy dollar one, you get all of the, um, the base game, all of the like expansions. So there's additional different types of cards that you're gonna get with it. Um, also hidden objectives. They're called the meaning of life, and so each player <laughs> will will have a little secret objective to figure out what the meaning of life is. Um, 
And then it also comes with like a play mat and different things. And so I, I'm really excited for this. Um, this and is, this is going to be great. Like I can't wait to play so this fun. for the podcast. You know, like we're going to have such a great time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Score the most Whoa. points before the world's inevitable destruction. What, I like a tag, it. what a tagline. I look at, at the in the top part, there's like a little drawing of four people playing the game and it's and someone's like, So we're scoring points until the world ends? And someone says, Try not to think about it, Heather. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Don't think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Love very, it. very Rick Sanchez. So morbid. <sighs> well, all right. So that was <laughs> Doomlings? Yes, that is Doomlings the card game, and this is by Justice Meyer, and you have until April 2nd to back this. To, to back that. Oh, get your man. Doom on, y'all. Get, get your Doom on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right. Uh, Nick, what did you back? This... So, for a, uh, a, a change of pace, um, I actually didn't back a board game this week. For this one, uh, it's funny that you mentioned D&D before, because, you know, we, we play <laughs> yeah. D&D, Jacob. We and do. as such, I own several funny-shaped dice um, that are an array of colors and all that. And so I backed Pixels, the electronic dice. Um, these are. This is a project by Jean Simonet. I hope I said their name correctly. If not, I'm sorry. I, I love your Kickstarter. And apparently, so do 20,000 other people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yep. the P- Pixels, the electronic dice, these are electronic rgb dice right so these mm-hmm. all have an array of colors built uh, you know like little led lights built into the dice so mm-hmm. whenever you roll the dice it lights up so that's that's the basest thing for it but <laughs> it gets so much more complicated and awesome so one it comes in a variety of different colors like you can get them to be crystal clear if you want you can get them to be like the colors I see here are onyx black and hematite gray and midnight galaxy. And, you uh, know, yeah. all, all they have to do is add Van Dyke Brown and we're set, you know? <laughs> um, but, but so it's got a whole bunch of different colors you can get <clears throat> on top of being electronic, right? These guys are also Bluetooth enabled. So you sync these bad boys to your phone and that's how you program the RGB. So like uh, a YouTuber, I really like uh, demoed these and he showed that like he synced it up to his phone. So whenever he rolls a 20, it like flashes rainbow colors and it plays like Zelda noises. It's like, but if he rolls a one, it like flashes just red. It's just red. And it's like, Oh no, what have you done? <laughs> you know? And so you can program the numbers and all that. Like, how do you want this guy to, to, to play? You know, should to, have a, should have a one where you roll it. And it's just whack, whack, whack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's so like I said, wireless, bluetooth and you know action you can fully program them they have mm-hmm. they come when you get them they come with a wireless charging little pod right mm-hmm. which right. you know on face value i'm like okay cool it can be charged but like I, it comes a little video for how to charge these dice and so uh on top of you know charging the dice when you plug them into the little battery pack case guy it also turns it off because you know if you just have the dice in your pocket it's basically rolling as you're walking around with it, so the lights keep turning on, you know. But if you uh, put it in the in the in the pod, it like turns it off. Okay. So that mm-hmm. it won't so it won't like keep draining the battery while you're in transport. Mm-hmm. That so makes I, sense. Yeah. So um, on higher levels of the uh, of the Kickstarter, which of course you know I, I may have gone for the ultra deluxe edition. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. And higher levels of it, you know, because normally like the the base level, you pick one dice. Whatever shape yeah. dice you want. Do you want a D20? Do you want a D6? Do you want a D4? Mm-hmm. Do you want a D12? Because no one ever uses D12s. Um, uh, barbar- barbarians use D12? Anyway, one class. Go on. Sorry. You know, <laughs> the, the, the first couple levels are literally just, do you want one dice, two dice, three dice, four? Yeah. You know? One I did, fish, I two remember, fish, red fish, blue fish. Right. Um, the, to get a set is, is one of the higher up tier lists. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the highest tier before it starts just duplicating because, you know, like, I, I, I ordered a set. Uh-huh. After that, then it's like, pay more for two sets, three sets, four sets a dollar, you know? You didn't get me a set? I'm kidding. <laughs> you, oh. ma'am, don't like D&D. Oh. So. But that doesn't mean I don't like dice. <laughs> mm, nope. Then you can buy them. <laughs> if I get, if, when I get these, if you roll them and you're like, I love these, I must have a pair, then I'll pay full retail price to order you a pair. Okay? Aww. Or a set. 
so sweet. Because I love you. One, but, one D twenty. That's all you get. But that's all you get. In true Billy Mays fashion. But wait, there's more. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, on top of the whole Bluetooth syncing, wireless charging, RGB rolling, it also syncs up to gaming services. So, do you do you play your game on like roll twenty? You can sync these dice up to roll twenty. So when you roll the dice, the number that you roll will be filtered out into roll twenty for your game. It's going. Um, so now I, that's I, now that's very useful, especially since I know a lot of players who are like rolling electronic dice really just doesn't do it for me. So it's like because yeah. one of one of the guys that we're gonna be playing with this weekend, my yeah. friend Max. He's like, I, I have to roll dice. He's a, he's like, a tactile. He's a tactile guy. He's a tactile, and I, he's he even he's even cleared it with me. He's like, I'm going to be rolling my own, and I want you to trust me when I give you the numbers. <laughs> and I was like, you know, that sounds really sketch. You should but have him point I his promise, webcam down sixes. into where he's rolling his dice. Uh, if 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 it's something <laughs> important, I'll have him prove it. <laughs> but, but but yeah, so so it can it can sync up to the online services right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know if this has changed. At the time this Kickstarter launched, they had officially confirmed synchro- synchronization with Roll Twenty and Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Ooh, and Foundry's they, really nice. And they are in talks with D and D Beyond and Fantasy Grounds. So very nice. So this this guy is checking the boxes on. He's he's getting in with the big hitters as far as the oh. virtual D and D community is concerned. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I think D and D Beyond would be. All over that. Yeah. I think they would love it. Oh, yeah. Granted, ab- absolutely. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure their whole thing is like, you know, giving somebody outside access to their code and stuff. I don't I don't know. <laughs> no idea what goes into that. I am not a business savvy person. Mm-hmm. But then right. he's, no but then he's also got... They, they also, he, he also has made it... He has open source coding for it. So if you want to set up your own program stuff and synchronizations for it, you can do that. I was going to say, mm-hmm. you can... Um, <laughs> this is really lame but you can get some of the di- the the sets that are just the d6s and set up an online game of yahtzee with your family if everyone oh, has yes. a set <laughs> there you go we'll, we'll order we'll Wonderful. order you a set and um it'll That's, all be d6s see we're all think we're all thinking D D. we're not thinking big enough nick <laughs> erica's in 2022 already man she's in the future playing yahtzee oh. on roll 20 <laughs> But, but yeah, so I, I am super excited for these guys. Um, I think they're they're estimated like early 2022 is the projected delivery date, mm-hmm. which I, I think that's fine. You know, like that's probably a little a little less than a year out. Yeah, actually, that is a year out. It is. A that year, is a year yeah. out. Yeah. But I'm but I'm fine with that. You know, like even if they wind up having to push it back a little bit, I know people get pretty mad when they have to wait for Kickstarters. But like, I mean, if I have to wait for quality. I'm all right with that. Yeah, the only well, thing, because I'm dealing with this with one of my Kickstarters, the only thing, I, I'm fine with waiting for a Kickstarter. If you want to, you know, take your time to deliver a quality product, that's great. Just keep everyone informed. Just say, you know, hey, we're running into this issue. We're we're now going to be looking at May instead of March. Or, you know, right. just keep people informed. I feel like good Kickstarters are ones where, you know, they keep everyone updated. Like, hey, just a check-in we're still waiting they haven't get, gotten back to us seems like it might be delayed that's all i want <laughs> Communi- communication is key yeah especially when it's dealing with other people's money mm-hmm. you know people who have bought into a project that you know they expect to have a return on that investment yeah 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 i mean i, I think any any truly successful kickstarter communication is key mm-hmm. you know communication is key so yeah but yeah, so that's that's what I backed. This this uh, Kickstarter ends on April eighth. So when this podcast drops, you'll still have a little more than a week to uh to go and back it. So, Very nice. Yeah, it's a little pricey. Even if you just want like a D twenty that does it, it's pretty cheap to just get just the one. You know, if you want to yeah. get just one dice, I think that's like forty bucks. So mm-hmm. for for dice, yeah, it's not that cheap. <laughs> For a sweet, awesome RGB Bluetooth enabled, <laughs> you know, dice. All the bells pretty... and whistles you could imagine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if the thing could make me an espresso while it was at it, it'd have everything. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm well, really excited about these. That's that's what I backed this week. Not a game, but absolutely gaming related. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to rub Definitely. these in Phil's face as much as I can. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when COVID's over, going to go play all the D&D. Just... 
<laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> with yeah. all these flashing dice <laughs> yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be great <laughs> yeah what is it like seizure warning that's a really big seizure warning like, be, seem- beware these flash it, you must you walk around with a health warning <laughs> but uh before you start well, your right. game all right sorry <laughs> so that's kickstarter corner <laughs> and i guess with that that's that would be that's going to be at the end of our of our show today yeah so thank you all for watching and for listening and uh and we'll catch you next time bye bye totals <laughs>